G'day everyone, Granitor here again with uh, Total War Arena vid for you and also I'm going to do an analysis on the game so far what I think of it it's good points and it's bad points anyway to start off with I've played this game for a few days I was never keen on playing it at all this thought of uh, having three units amongst a team of ten and trying to cooperate with complete strangers put me off a little bit um, but I find now I've played it for a few days now and I'm starting to starting to like it the um, part I like the most is the unit upgrading reminds me a lot of Shogun and uh, I put a lot of hours into Shogun so I can see myself putting a few hours into this as well um, now for a few bad points of the game Follow me. is uh, line of sight I'd like to see the line of sight increased a little bit as of now I don't think it's uh, far enough it's a bit too short and friendly fire it's very prevalent in this game people think they're getting kills but it actually takes off their points every time they get friendly fire so it's it's a thing you got to watch out for you got to be really careful uh, no cooperation from the um, team players at all uh, not too, too many cooperative people you'll find one or two here and there so it's best to play off a teammate you can team up and formulate a good attack or a good defense uh, the maps are a bit repetitive at the moment I find I'm getting the same map over and over for a little bit um, I'm sure they'll fix that, it's only early like I said in the game uh, a lot of people are very defensive and got no attack in them whereas I like to play a bit sacrificial I'll, I'll sacrifice the unit if it's uh, going to make the the benefit of the team you know if it's uh, going to benefit the team I will sacrifice a unit so and I play a bit aggressive, I like playing that way I find if you get amongst it, a bit more action you know it's better than sitting back and uh, waiting so you can see here I get attacked by the cav because I'm out the front but I draw them into the tree so the charge isn't as bad and I support with my other swordsmen so at the, at the moment I'm uh, tier 4 so I've been playing it for a few days got in the hang of it and uh, yes, commander. yeah, I find that Germanicus is the best general for the start at the moment. So I've just been doing him up, but I've recently purchased Scipio. I will be doing a vid on each general, let you know their good and bad points and uh, what style of play they're best for. So I've got the three attain noble swordsmen at the moment with my build. Their charge has been upgraded. So um, they've got a very lethal charge. Now for the good points, uh, I love the unit upgrading. As I said, it reminds me of Shogun, and uh, the upgrading for me is one of the best points of the game. And the gen skills, they're all very good. You can choose which ones to do up, which suit your kind of play style. If you're uh, aggressive, you can do a lot of the the um, charge ones and whatnot. And uh, the gameplay itself is pretty good. I haven't minded it. There's been no, not too many Orders lag spots understood. at all. So understood. yeah, I've been having fun and not too taxing on the computer. You can get your graphic settings up there a fair bit. Uh, another good point is that if someone does drop from battle, you can take control of their units. So the CPU units are controllable. So you don't have to rely on the derpy AI to strength. try and control them. You can actually put them in Swordsman. proper spots. Now you see here I'm trying to formulate an attack near their base. In the trees they can't see me at the moment until I cross over here. I'll draw a bit of uh, fire from the catapult with one of my troops. So that unit that's on the flag can uh, have a bit of a breather. You see they've got uh, three units out in front. 
good defense. A lot of archers. Catapults. So I've hit the charge just to get a bit extra speed so I can get in the forest quicker. And then that ability I just pressed then was the uh, unit speed of ability. So that stays on. So it gives you extra speed but actually minuses your attack. So you've got to be careful when you're going in for attack to take it back off. Now it seems I'm getting support over here from violence. So I'm going to come back and... Uh, Try and get an attack going here because that unit's coming out and spotting us so the artillery can hit us and find us. So I'm going to go back in and attack it so if the artillery wants to fire it'll get friendly fire. Now I've taken that skill off. It takes 15 seconds to cool down so I should have taken that off a bit earlier. But I'll get me charge in which is uh, all important. You need to get that charge in. So I can see up on the hill violence is coming down and uh, from the support he gave me there, I realised that he's going to come down and give me support. So this is what I talk about sacrificial play. So I'm going to sacrifice my units. I know they're going to get hammered by the archers and the artillery and everything. I've got Ascalon help me over here on the right. So I'm getting hammered, so I'm just going to hit charge early so I can get there quicker. I know that he's going to have his charge and beat these units, but you can see in the back, violence is coming to support me, so... The charge here is violent. I get very hammered. They're uphill. But he's getting friendly fire from his artillery, so that no longer counts. It's not hurting me as much. And violence here is uh, doing the best thing that you can do and coming in to support me for a rear charge. Now it's looking pro quite bad for me now. I'm trying to whack any skills I can on. <laughs> Until violence gets there. Looks like them units are dead, but I've got one over here. You won that with the help from Ascon. Now I don't know these players, these are random, so it was just a sometimes you can coordinate with some people who have an aggressive skill like you and <laughs> try and uh, get in, get amongst it as quick as they can. So we've mopped up them two troops, even though a cop got hammered on the charge, I still realized that our mate was coming to help me out so two fresh troops here I'm going to charge them as well do as much damage as I can Ascalon's coming around for the rear charge so I'm going to lock him up at the front try and get a rear charge in myself hit the heavy infantry charge and they'll tear them apart too so in the end it looked bad for me you know what I mean but it was all sacrificial for the team so we can get that them units off the field and locked up so they couldn't go back to the base and defend it so that type of play there is not what everyone likes to do no one likes to be the one to sacrifice a unit so always want to be the last one around but trust me if you do it like this and you do get a, an attack like this that comes off successful you all better for it, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a better victory in my eyes, rather than sitting there and defending with a catapult. You have more fun doing it this way. And when you get a clan mate or a teammate in there, it's even better because you can formulate a little attack like that yourself. So that was only probably two of us, really. Two and a half. Third dude didn't have many troops. Ask on. But uh, you can get it done, as long as you help each other out. Cab's coming in for support, I see him. Quickly get a charge off. Take these archers out, so there's nothing to uh, decap their base. And go back for the other archers. So I've still got one troop left. <laughs> Not many men left in it. And you can see from the top left, and top right corner, number of men left in the teams. We've... Uh, definitely give me a good crack and say it's looking good for us here Let lead your blades. we're just going to try and lock down these archers so anything that's coming up to help us cap the base we're doesn't get hit by the, the archers enemy base. Increase the pressure. so that attack was very successful we've wiped them all out we've only got the archers to defend now and uh, they're a bit messed up as well a little bit thing derpy happens here. I'm trying to attack that unit, but it keeps going back and forth, bouncing off the catapults. It's all stuff that will be fixed.
quite sure of it. So all my units are lost. You've got the choice to leave battle and uh, change generals because that one won't be available for a while. Or you can just uh, watch the battle. I, I don't mind watching it sometimes. So uh, we've clearly won here. There's not no way whatsoever we can lose this. So it's all in all, it's been a good battle. I enjoy playing We're that style. The enemy base. Increase the pressure. Even though I have to sit around and watch the end of it, I feel good about myself, like I done my part of the battle. We're capturing the enemy base. And, um, I'm sure, the I'll pressure. get some points, even though it looks like I died pretty early. I'm positive I got some good points, good kills against high-level troops. Yeah, there still is a couple of derby things left over from Rome Total War game. Room two. That's the axes. They still stab, as you can see. <laughs> We're capturing so, the enemy um, base. it'd be great if they could pressure. do something about that. Axes stabbing. He's um, a problem we've had in all Total War games since they introduced the axes. There should be a whole complete new anim animation for them. The Shouldn't be stabbing the with their axes, or even put points on their axes or something. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, yeah, I'm just being picky now. This, it's in early, early stages of the game, so it's only going to get better from here on. You're introducing new maps, so the repetitive map thing shouldn't be too prevalent. These pikes attacking out of pike formation. You can either attack out of pike formation or in it. In pike formation, they're just like normal pikes, very hard to take front on. There's good little traps you can set up in this game. You can uh, get stakes, defensive stakes, so you can hold a spot and put defensive stakes in front of you so the cav can't come and charge you. Um, there's fire pits, there's everything. So that's another good aspect if you want to be defensive. You can uh, bring the deployables and um, yeah, deploy them So in choke points. So you've got a... Uh, a secure point on a on an area. If you want to really coordinate with your team, it's pretty hard. At the start, everyone's got their own opinion what to do. We're capturing the enemy Most of the opinions are defence, but I find um, strong attacks are the way to go. Defence is uh, you do need some defence if you can designate some one person, maybe two as defender, and have a uh, strong attack somewhere. It's it's the best way to go, I think. There's only 107 enemy left on the field. I don't know where they are. We uh, are strongly capturing their base. So it's one of the battles that isn't so tight. Usually they can be a lot tighter. So um, you got to expect uh, some battles to go a bit longer and some to a bit shorter. So. But if you do get wiped out early, it's got the uh, option to, to leave, so you can leave the battle as well. But see, I've got some good points, some good coin. I'll explain all the commander points and money and whatnot in another episode, and I'll also go through all the different generals there is, and what general's best for what style of play as well. I'll be doing that, so my style of play is aggressive. I like Germanicus, so I find he's... Uh, the best for my style of play. But each to their own. There's a lot of cav ones. I'm going to give Scipio a go next. He's uh, got a lot of good cav. And this is just the uh, in, end of the battle screen. It'll pop up with the stats here. Then you can see where you come on the ladder. See, I come second. So sacrificial, but still got the points. And I had more fun doing it that way, I think. Yes, yeah, so uh, I've been Granitor. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a subscribe and like. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.